look. Oh I my God, what's it. happening? It's also my old look because it was the dress I wore in the Messengers. <gasps> so Mary keeps this for a long time. So today we walk into the Sanhedrin and bam, a face off between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. It's looking a little intense right now. Rabbi Gadev, you, my friend, are wrong. For the first time, we're going to get to see the Pharisees and the Sadducees debating what they believe. And we got the opportunity to talk to Shmuel and a brand new character to get us prepped for this debate. Gadera. Gadera. Oh, let me say that again. Yeah. Gadera. Felicia, you play Gadera. Mm -hmm. Sean, you play Shmuel. Mm -hmm. You're a Pharisee, you're a Sadducee. What is the difference between these two? This guy doesn't believe in the afterlife. And he only believes in the first five books of Torah. We are people of stature. That was a dig. The Sadducees wealth and social status make your interpretation all too convenient. People of the same faith who have substantially different views. Mm -hmm. It's not a new thing. It shows you like the splintering that happens among any community as it grows. They want to be together, but they want to be together in common ground that they can't find yet. The way you learn about anything is by talking about it. I know for myself, I only find out what I actually believe when I share it with others and I see it tested and people push back. So unless you talk about things, I don't really know that they're your own ideas. Having debates about faith is as old as faith. Without conflict and communication, the only conflict left is violence. <laughs> And it feels like a setup too. We're setting up this world for the Messiah to come in and disrupt it and make it better. This scene touches on the importance of debating in good faith. That if you're gonna have a discussion, don't be mean, don't go to insults. Are you an SMT because your arguments have no legs to stand on? Ah! And you could slow that line down a little bit though. Okay. Confused times, mm -hmm. troubled times. It felt like it was kind of in the same rhythm as the rest of the scene. I think it's okay to slow things down. Shmuel and Yusuf in the temple together? What brings you guys together in Jerusalem? We heard there was a sale at Shalmart and at Kotz Aqueducts and Beyond. Needed to take advantage of that sale. So as we're watching the debate rage on, I'm looking around and I notice a tripod with a pillow for the camera, which to me is odd. So we use these pillows. This one we call the pickle because it's green. Bcam has an orange one called the pumpkin. We use them to keep the handheld feel that the show is known for without the cameras being stuck on a tripod. There's just a little bit of, of reality feeling to it. Do you like the stuff you see? Like, comment, and subscribe for more. The disciples just got back from their full week off, first day back, put them to all kinds of physical labor. So the scene seems incredibly simple, but it's not. We got the overall day of everybody threshing the weed, whatever that whole process is. Then they have to break everything down and just film them individually. You guys are looking good because you're kind of looking through it and picking stuff out, and, you know. So that looks good. You guys are new to this. Part of it's like I think if you put, it'd be more. Okay, good, good, you know. Then you got Luke to throw the lines in there. I've got a plan. I've got an, I've got answers. I want I want you to look authoritative. And action. Uh, I have an idea. So we're standing in Capernaum City. This scene is taking place in a completely different village. How have you taken this part of the set and made it look like not Capernaum, where we are all the time? So we've added this wall that we're standing right in front of, the wall and the door. And then across the courtyard, we've added another one, sort of closed in this area. Last season, this same piece of real estate was Jairus' house. And now we're in the Perean village for season four. Each different set has its own focal point, which allows you to put the camera in a different spot. It gives you a whole new vocabulary in that space. They've transformed Jarvis's kitchen into an inn. After rehearsing the scene, they would figure out where to put the cameras and the lights to match the candle's fire, all in order to establish a very new look for an amazing scene. At one point today, the disciples went and changed to new clothes. The new little James. My new look. Oh my God. It's also my old look because it was the dress I wore in the Messengers. <gasps> so Mary keeps this for a long time. Sometimes we grow up, you know? Why do you think their new outfits. It's clear there's a lot of great new things coming up here in season four. We have a lot more behind the scenes looks on the way, so hit subscribe and the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified as soon as it drops.